throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Of the many, many gods of the Egyptian pantheon, arguably none were as feared, perhaps even to the point of hatred, as the god Set. Also known as Seth, Set was the son of the earth god Geb and the sky goddess Nut. He was the brother of Osiris, Isis, and Neptis, the latter of whom he would take as his wife. While his brother Osiris represented order, Set represented the other end of the spectrum, acting as the patron god of chaos. As a result, Set was associated with any and all aspects that ancient Egyptians believed disrupted the natural flow of order, including confusion, violence, the desert, sandstorms, eclipses of the sun and the moon, earthquakes, and even foreign people and their homelands. Even his birth was said to be a violent and chaotic one, barbarically tearing himself free from his mother's womb rather than being born as a normal baby would be. Whereas his siblings appeared as attractive human beings, Set on the other hand was depicted as a strong man with the head of a wild beast, reflecting his savage nature. However, while other gods such as Anubis or Sobek may have had the head or overall appearance of an animal, that animal was often very clear to the eyes, such as a jackal, a crocodile, or a lioness. Set, on the other hand, was depicted as an animal that was not so easy to determine, with a long tapered snout, small eyes, and a pair of erect ears or horns blocky in shape, while its full body was a canid-looking quadruped sporting a forked tail. He is commonly referred to as being a hyena, an opportunistic carnivore with a voracious appetite, a powerful bite, and a less than desirable reputation, and many modern portrayals in art show Set as having an appearance more akin to a hyena or a dog. But the original artistic depictions of Set have been interpreted as a wild dog such as a jackal or a fennec, or an antelope such as an oryx, and other creatures including a giraffe, an okapi, donkey, pig, aardvark, and many more. Whether or not the set animal, or shaw as it was called, was meant to be an existing animal, an extinct animal, or even a chimera based off of real animals, it remains both iconic and enigmatic, no doubt adding to Set's fierce image. While he was a feared and unpredictable figure, he did have a positive role in the journey of the sun. He would join Ra and a clutch of other deities upon the Manjet, the boat of millions of years, and they would venture forth into Duat, the underworld. Set and the other gods would battle wave after wave of chaos demons, dead set on stopping the sun from rising. But then, the gods would face their biggest challenge, Apophis, the great chaos serpent. The giant snake would place the gods in a hypnotic trance, mesmerizing them into lowering their guard. Only Set had the strength to resist the serpent's powers, and would engage Apophis in single combat, leading to nighttime sandstorms in the living world. Set and the other gods would defeat Apophis and continue on their journey. Even though Set was seen as partly responsible for the sun always rising, his most famous tale paints him as a truly evil monster. 
In the earliest days of mankind, when Osiris reigned as Pharaoh, Set was envious of his brother, to the point of bloodthirsty hatred. He coveted Osiris's power, he coveted his wife Isis, and the pull he had both on earth and with the other gods. Envy boiled within Set until he could no longer take it, and he sought to usurp this power and claim the throne of Egypt for himself. Ruthlessly, and with more than a little personal satisfaction, Set slew his own brother. The manner in which Set ultimately killed Osiris varied from tale to tale. Some say that Set took the form of a savage beast and mauled him beyond recognition, while others say that he tricked Osiris into an ornate box and sealed it shut. Perhaps the most widely claimed method was to disembowel him, tear him apart limb from limb, and scatter him to the four winds. However he may have done the deed, Set hid Osiris' body in the remote regions of the Sahara and seized the throne of Egypt. Under Set's rule, both mankind and the gods suffered greatly. Yet none of the other gods had the courage to challenge Set for fear of his strength, of his savagery, and the horde of demons at his beck and call. Even the great Ra was of no help, too overcome with grief over Osiris' fate and the fate of Egypt. In time, a challenger would step up to face the cruel god, Horus, the son of Osiris. Set's own nephew. A council of nine gods, referred to as the Ennead, were gathered to decide who would succeed Osiris's throne. Horus was the son of the true king, and plenty wise and strong, a capable youth, though perhaps too young and inexperienced to ever lord over Egypt. Set was older, he was more experienced, and he was physically the strongest of all the gods, being a protector of the solar bark when it entered Duat. Yet his cruel and unpredictable nature, coupled with the fact that he had slain his own brother in cold blood, made many of the gods doubtful of his potential as a leader. And so began the contendings of Horus and Set, a series of challenges to determine who would rule over the world, Countless different challenges were presented from both parties, some that favored Horus, and others that favored Set. Contests of memory, of wit, and physical prowess, and more than a few hand-to-hand -hand skirmishes, all of which Horus would come out victorious over Set, whether by his own doing or with the aid from other gods. A testament of order overcoming chaos of good triumphing over evil. As uncle and nephew battled in the heavens, chaos was loosed upon the world. Storms raged in the desert. Animals fought their own kind. Fish in the rivers devoured one another. And still the gods fought for many lifetimes, as the storytellers said. And the world descended into darkness and disorder. The chaos that was loosed upon the world only strengthened Set, who subjected Horus to endless pain in the form of physical and mental torture and even sexual assault. But Horus never backed down, being the only god to ever be brave enough to face Set, and he continued to oppose him until the contendings at last came to an end. Some say that Set was told to stand down by the Ennead, others that Isis had tricked him into relinquishing his power, and others say that Neith, the mediator of disputes, ruled in favor of Horus. Whatever the reason may be, at the end of eighty years of conflict, Horus was given the throne of his father, 
while Set was relegated to a far lesser role. While there is evidence that he was revered at various points during the era of the Old Kingdom of Egypt, and had a protective role in his frequent fights with Apophis, Set has been cemented as an outwardly evil and unpredictable figure of Egyptian mythology since the time of the New Kingdom. As a result, Set was very much portrayed as the archetypal villain, jealous, cruel, manipulative, narcissistic, scheming, apathetic, sexually aggressive, and a cold-blooded killer. His most famous story painted him as the covetous brother, the violent usurper, the unjust monarch, and it pitted him against his nephew in perhaps the oldest example of the prodigal son battling his wicked uncle, later seen in stories such as Shakespeare's Hamlet and Disney's The Lion King. Though it seems every mythology has one god or another who seeks to cause harm if only for their own amusement, Set was certainly among the oldest and most influential, and perhaps among the most enigmatic and savage ever spoken of. <laughs>